Drought hit our Pacific Northwest bioregion in June of 2015. Intense heat in the 90s baked our land instead of the usual cool and rainy weather. The rest of the summer followed suit, setting heat records. This is a wake-up call. We need to look at ways to water our gardens, farms, and pastures with low or no irrigation. Swales on contour are natural ways of water harvesting and retention. Swale is a water harvesting ditch on contour with a soft contour mound on the lower side. It interrupts the water flow as it comes across the landscape and stops it on contour perfectly level and the soft mound on the lower side soaks the water into the landscape and it plumes it through the landscape as a sponge very very slowly. This is the essence of creating swales that harvest water in the most passive way and hold the water up for as long as possible, as high as possible and create the most potential for productivity. The water that plumes down the hill from swale soakage continues to move at right angle to contour very slowly through the landscape. As you set more and more of these systems up it's inevitable that eventually some of this water hits impervious layers that are almost horizontal and where they meet the surface of the landscape profile accumulated water starts to spring out in the middle to lower slopes. This is a way we actually recreate or invent completely new spring lines in the landscape and that's another set of advantage that we can put swales to use for all sorts of extra water flows and productivity. The swale we are making is 575 feet long at the base of a slope with ponds for overflow on each end. Swales are typically two feet deep by two feet wide with a 45 degree angle on the sides to prevent erosion. Swales are site specific. Depending on the terrain and other environmental factors, their construction can vary. But the basic concept behind a swale remains the same. Because of the topography here, we are digging ours four feet wide and three feet deep. The berm downhill will be planted with fruit and nut trees, berry bushes and perennial vegetables to create a food forest watered by the swale. We started with a map of the contours on the land from the county. We laid the swale out on contour with a transit. You can also use a laser, making the bottom of the swale level across the landscape. Water flows down the slope and is collected in the swale. Slow it, spread it, Sink it is the mantra. Swales can be dug with a tilt bucket excavator, a bulldozer with a tilt blade, or a backhoe. This swale is being dug with a Kubota mini excavator 121 with push blade, a 10,000 pound machine. The swale is dug, then the berm on the downslope is raked smooth to prepare for planting. Jeff Lawton of Permaculture Research Institute in Australia used swales on contour in Jordan to establish fruit trees in the desert where they only get 7 inches of rain a year, on flat, dry land. If they can do it in the desert, we can do it here. Swales can be made on flat land or slopes, in pastures or fields or gardens. A series of swales can drought-proof a pasture or hayfield or orchard. This series of swales we are building will allow us to plant a food forest on 37 acres that was clear-cut a few years ago before being purchased by the current owner. Stop by our demonstration site, Hartwood Homestead, to see how it works. Or follow our progress on Facebook 